Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to How to Train Your Gavin. So I had originally done a March TBR video, but the audio on that video was really, really bad, so I had to scrap it. So I didn't actually get a chance to go through some of the plans that I had for the month, but then I thought it's probably too late to do it now, so why don't I do a sort of spring TBR? I've never actually done a seasonal TBR or like told you my seasonal plans before. A lot of people on Booktube do it, and I think it's actually a really good way of doing it too. I don't know if I'm going to continue doing monthly TBR videos, but I think doing a seasonal one is probably the best way forward for me. So that is what I want to do in this video. I will tell you my book plans and video plans for March, April and May. Those are the seasons I consider spring. In fact, they are spring, aren't they? Uh, yeah. So there are a lot of exciting plans for me in the next few months that I'm really super excited to share with you. You might already know some of these plans. I think I might have teased about them before or said something because I can never keep a secret. So it'll be nice to have just like a straightforward video talking about it. Before I continue as well, I am still planning and preparing for my trip to Japan, which I am doing with Trova Trip. So if you haven't yet checked it out, I do have a link in the description box. If you fancy joining me on the adventure of a lifetime, there are only 10 spots left, so it is selling out. And we do have such a jam-packed itinerary and it's just going to be so incredible and amazing. I'm so excited. So I did just want to quickly mention that too. And I also wanted to mention that I'm doing a 48-hour summer party on Patreon with my bestie Lexi from Alexandra Roslin. We are doing a 48 hours, so it'll be from 4pm BST on the 31st of March to 4pm BST on the 2nd of April. So that weekend is going to be filled with amazing and fun activities. So that will be for the Nevermoreans and the Frosthardest patrons. So I do have a link to the Patreon down in the description box too. If you fancy checking it out, no worries if you do not want to. But we do have movie nights and reading sprints and all of the good stuff planned for that weekend. I'm so excited. So getting into my spring TBR and some video plans. This isn't all of the videos and it's not all of the books that I'm reading. Just prefacing that. But you know, these are just like a good chunk of what you can expect from my channel over the next couple of months. Firstly, I do want to do a fifth episode of I Have to Like My Friends' Favourite Books or I Unsubscribe from their channel series. I don't know when that will be, but probably April or May. I'm seeing where I can like really fit it in on my schedule. And also I do have people in mind for it, but I'm kind of just going over it. Like what's the best fit for it, the best books to read for it and things like that. Like I do want to do episode five so badly because I think the last one I did was in November. So it has been some time since then and it would be nice too. And it's also the one year anniversary of episode one, I think this week. I think this time last year I was filming the first episode, so that's exciting. And I also want to do another first and last episode, but the last time I did that was July and that was for Shadowhunters. So I do want to do one for The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan. <laughs> I want to read the first Wheel of Time book and the last Wheel of Time book, but I have to like really think about that and when I will do it and when it will fit in with everything I'm doing as well, because those books are quite big and also to jump to the final book of that series it scares me more than anything. It scares me more than when I did it to Throne of Glass. So we'll see if that one happens, but that is probably going to be the next first and last episode. But I do have other options as well. I'm just mulling it all over, you know, just thinking about it very deeply. So on to actual like videos that I'm planning on doing. There is a video I want to do very early on, which I think I've already mentioned before. And I definitely mentioned it in my March TBR video, but obviously that got scrapped. So this video is probably not going to come out until like maybe the start of April. And that is to give three different authors one final chance. So I have picked three authors who I have recently loved in the past, but I'm kind of falling out of love with their books because I haven't really enjoyed the past few ones that I've read of theirs. So in that video and the books that I'll be reading pretty soon are, how to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix. I'm also reading this for the book troupe, which is hosted by Gabby from Gabby Reads. And me and Lexi are going to be guests on that live show. So I'm really excited to read that. But this is what inspired that vlog because Grady Hendrix... I haven't really enjoyed the last few books that he's put out. I definitely did not enjoy the Final Girl Support Group as much as I wanted to. So this is kind of like the last chance that Grady Hendrix is getting from me. I believe I follow someone called Louise whose family home is the scene of murder and she loses her parents and then she has to sell the house. I could be totally wrong on that. I genuinely could. So take that synopsis with a grain of salt. And then another author that I'm rapidly falling out of love with is Taylor Jenkins Reid. So I'll read Carrie Soto was back as the sort of last hurrah for Taylor Jenkins Reid. We'll see if I do end up enjoying it and if I will continue to read more of her books. But I don't know. I did really enjoy Daisy Jones 
and I didn't really enjoy Malibu Rising. So this is the last chance. This is the last chance. This is about somebody who is a tennis star and she's been retired. She was like the world's number one tennis star. But then somebody much younger than her breaks her record. So she comes out of retirement in order to get her record back or something. Yeah, I don't know. I, it doesn't sound that appealing to me, but I did used to love Taylor Jenkins Reid a lot. And I do want to try and get back into her writing because I used to love her writing style, but it just hasn't been easy for me. And then in the same episode, the last author, and I was in Patreon reading sprints when I decided this one because I was really unsure of the final author that I wanted to do for the vlog, but I decided on V.E. Schwab. So I'm going to read The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Finally, I've been wanting to read this for the longest time. I, I don't know, like, like I said, with these authors, I kind of just fallen out of love with them. So these are the books that I need to read in order to re-inspire me to read more of their books. But I don't know about The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I've heard very, very mixed things. I don't know if I'm going to be really bored with it or if it's actually going to be like one of the most lyrically written books I've ever read. I don't know. All I know is that it's about Addie LaRue and she has lived for hundreds of years, I think. And like people who meet her forget about her as soon as they go away from her or something. But there's one person who remembers Addie LaRue or something like that, oh my god. I bet so many of you at home are like, Gavin, you can't summarize things for shit. But this is why I like to read first, describe later. So these are the three books that I want to read in the Given Three Authors One Final Chance video. So I feel like I've picked three pretty good authors that I did used to think the world of, and now I'm just like, hmm. I will be continuing my Adventures with Gav series as well. It's kind of the tentative title. I don't really know what I want to call it. But you know, all the travel videos that I do, I want to do more of them in 2023, of course. And it's one of the main things that I highlighted. I think it was in my December TBR. And I believe I mentioned this video idea in that video. But anyway, this is like the most immediate new episode for that. And that is I am going to York, not next week, but is it next week? Oh my god, it's next week, jeez. Okay, next week, <laughs> I'm going to York and I'm going to be staying two nights in York's Most Haunted Inn and I will be reading Ghost Eaters by Claire McLeod Chapman. I did want to read some kind of ghost story or some book that has something to do with ghosts while I'm in a haunted inn. So it is going to be two nights and I do want to do like a little bit of a paranormal investigation and stuff. I believe I'm staying in the most haunted room in the inn too. So that's going to be really, really fun, isn't it? And I literally forgot it's next week. God damn, it came quick. But course he does, I believe, follows a girl called Erin and her ex-boyfriend dies. And then Erin comes across this drug called Ghost that allows you to be able to see the dead. But there are really bad side effects of taking this drug. So I hope it gets under my skin. I hope it scares me while I'm in the most haunted inn in York. I mean, every single time I go to a haunted location, it seems to be that I have the best intentions of reading while I'm there just to make it relevant for booktube. And then I kind of like don't really finish or I DNF or I don't really take it all in. Saying that though, when I went to the cabin, I did finish two books while I was in the cabin. So, you know, there are exceptions to the rule, but I do have one book over two nights. I think that's doable. And I do want to do a paranormal investigation. There's just going to be lots of stuff in that video, okay? I'm going to try and do as much as I can while reading this. <laughs> Continuing the Adventures with Gav series then. In May, I haven't booked it yet, but I do plan on staying overnight in a library because there are libraries in the UK where you can book a room and stay there for the night. So I want to do that. And I'm going to try and solve my next Agatha Christie mystery, which is the body in the library. I feel like solving this while in a library is like a good idea maybe? I don't know, someone's probably already done it. But actually I got the idea from Simon from Savage Reads. He mentioned in a live show, gosh, like, probably half a year ago or something that I should do something like this. And it's been in my mind ever since. And now I really want to do that. Like I definitely want to do that potentially in May, maybe around my birthday. But I have so much fun solving Agatha Christie crimes and I did such a good job at the last one, if you ask me. I did a really good one over Christmas Eve. So this one will be the next one that I tackle and I want to do it in a library. So this is going to be like another sort of adventure with me because I am traveling and I don't know how it's going to work, me being in a library overnight. I don't know if I'll actually be allowed in the library library overnight, but I'll have a room there, so that's the next best thing, right? I also want to continue my series of reading books that inspired movies, and I've done three of those episodes so far. I want to do another one, but I kind of want to tie it into the series I used to do on my channel where I would 
go through the books that inspired the Disney films and talk about the differences and the similarities between them. So I kind of want to do that again, but not the way that I used to do them. I want to do it more as a, like a fun vlog kind of format, like I have done with my reading books that inspired movie series. So I want to do the Disney Renaissance films, especially since The Little Mermaid is coming out in May, I believe. And the trailer just dropped as well. It looks amazing. I cannot wait to see it. But I think it's probably a good time to tie into reading stuff like The Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen, doing Aladdin as well. And then there's also Beauty and the Beast, which I will need to get. And then there is also The Lion King, which I believe is loosely based on Hamlet by William Shakespeare. I don't know about that. There's also Notre Dame de Paris by Victor Hugo, which inspired The Hunchback of Notre Dame. There is also Tarzan of the Apes by Edgar Rice Burroughs, which inspired the Tarzan movie. And then Mulan and Pocahontas are based on historical figures, and Hercules is based on myth. So I might just stick to the ones that I've just mentioned, these two especially, and definitely The Little Mermaid because of the new film that's coming out, honestly. Convert. Yeah, I just think it's going to be the perfect time to read them and get back into reading those books that inspired Disney films, which I'd originally started like two years ago and then just dropped off the face of the earth. So, and the Disney Renaissance is like my era. Like those are like, some of my favorite films of all time. So I just think it's going to be an incredible look into what inspired them and I'll have a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys do too. I'm doing more complete series reading vlogs as well over the next couple of months. The first one I'll be tackling, I will start reading in the first few weeks of April. And that is the Goosebumps Most Wanted series by R.L. Stein. This is also the next episode I need to do for my Goosebumps Postmortem series. And I know I give R.L. Stein and the Goosebumps series a lot of flack. I know I do. I criticize it to death but I still will always love Goosebumps. It has a special place in my heart and I do want to say the entire series through. So Most Wanted is the next series that I need to tackle. There are only 15 books in the series, so it's definitely a lot shorter than all of the other Goosebumps series I've read in the past. So I will most likely get through these very, very quickly. And you know what, when I did the Horrorland series, I think I read like five books in a day. So I could read these in like three days if I wanted to. I won't do that because that's pushing it. But you know what I mean? It's like, this isn't going to be too much of a problem because of how short they are. And it is the shortest Goosebumps series ever. And there's only one more series after this called the Goosebumps Slappy World series, which I will do in October. So it's going to be really nice to round out the Goosebumps series that I started in October 2021. It's been nearly two years since I started reading all the Goosebumps books. So it'll be nice this year to finish off the main Goosebumps series and move on with my life, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to start them, even though nine times out of ten, I'm disappointed with what I read. But I'm still excited, okay? I mentioned in my Vampire Diaries video as well that I posted in January that I think I would probably do the Secret Circle series by LJ Smith because I used to adore the TV show. Even though it got cancelled after one season, I really enjoyed the Secret Circle. So I do have all of the Secret Circle books. There are only seven Secret Circle books. It's not like the Vampire Diaries at all. It's not as big. I, I can fit this just in one hand, you know? All the Vampire Diaries books are there and there were so many and I obviously didn't like any of them today. I, I gave pretty much all of them one star. And even if I don't love the Secret Circle series, it's very short. Maybe it's better than Vampire Diaries. I don't know. But yeah, I mentioned in my Vampire Diaries video that I wanted to do this at some point and no time like the present. I can't believe how well the Vampire Diaries video did. So I might as well continue the LJ Smith train and see if this is any better than the Vampire Diaries. I mean, I don't have high hopes, but we'll see. And if this is like the TV show, then it follows a girl called Cassie who turns out to be a witch and the coven that she ends up forming. But I don't know if it actually is the same. But we will find out. I have low expectations, so hopefully it will surprise me. And you guys will be like, Gavin, why are you continuing to read series? You'll probably end up hating. Look at what happened with Gossip Girl. Look at what happened with Vampire Diaries. I know. Which is why I've decided to also tackle Percy Jackson. I've only read the first three and I keep meaning to continue the series. I keep putting it on my TBR, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off. But I feel like now is the best time to read the Percy Jackson series all the way through for the first time. So I will do a little complete series vlog on Percy Jackson. I will start reading more Rick Ryden up to, I think, when the Disney Plus show starts, which I don't actually know when that is. And I know there's a new Percy Jackson book coming out this year. So I want to read as much Rick Ryden as possible. And I will start off by reading all of the Percy Jackson books in one video. So there we go. There is a complete series reading vlog that I think I will enjoy doing, okay? I love doing the other ones. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I hated the books, but I love doing the actual filming and stuff. And I believe this this one will be the best of both worlds. I love the books and I will love filming the video for it. Finally as well I do have a few manga series that I'm going through and the first big one that I do is One Piece. I do have a One Piece channel membership 
for early access to most of my One Piece videos and for exclusive live shows as well. So at the minute I have done the Marineford Arc, which I read last week and my channel members have had early access for that. Well, it'll be like eight days by the time it goes up because it'll go up this Friday. And then I have another arc to read after that post-war, which I will do this week, up for early access to go up next week. And then after that, I'm gonna take maybe like three weeks break from reading One Piece and instead focus on doing some One Piece related videos like my favorite moments, my favorite arcs, ranking the arcs, my favorite characters, things like that. Just so I have a little bit of a break from reading it. I absolutely adore it. It's like my favorite story of all time now. It's not that I'm getting sick of it. It's just, I feel like I've reached a natural place where I can take a little break and focus on doing content that will be more I guess universal for people who don't want to follow my overly long reviews of it. So I'm really excited to do just some general One Piece videos and then I will go back to reading the arcs about mid to late April. I'm also currently going through Berserk. I am reading the Golden Age arc at the minute and I might have to do two videos on that. I don't know how I'm going to format the videos just yet for Berserk, but we'll see how we get on, but I do expect to have a video out for the Berserk Golden Age arc, maybe by the end of this month, very early April at the latest. But I am playing with the format of that video because I don't know how I want it to come across as. I'm having a bit of a crisis with how I want to lay out that video. So I'm just, at the minute, I'm like putting it off because I want to sort out how I want the video to be before I really delve into the arc. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm really excited to read it. So yeah, those are the most immediate manga ideas and videos that I have planned. I know I've been doing a lot of manga recently and I haven't been balancing it very well with my other videos that I do on my channel. But like, it took so long to do Gossip Girl and it meant that I had to cancel quite a lot of videos in February and it just made it look like I had more manga videos than I did anything else. So I apologize to the people who aren't interested in the manga side of my booktube channel, but hopefully moving forward, I will still have some great content around it and you guys will still enjoy, hopefully. So those are pretty much the big important plans for the next couple of months. By all means though, not everything that I want to do or have planned for the next few months, but hopefully like the most intriguing to you guys, the most exciting. I know I'm very excited about a lot of these videos. So hopefully you will stick around to see them. But anyway, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave all the comments down below. Let me know your plans over the next few months for reading. Is there anything from my video you're excited about? Any of my videos that you're really looking forward to? Let me know. I wanna give a huge thank you to my patrons and my One Piece channel members. If you'd like to join my Patreon or join my membership, then all the links are down in the description box. But yeah, I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye.